Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Sunday, 13th day of November, 12th day of Cheshvan. Here we go. We are in the batch of laws of what things you're allowed to do before davening, because when you wake up in the morning, you should go pretty much straight to davening and not be busy with many other things. So what about shaving before davening? So you might think, oh, sure, sure, you you know, that's fine. But you, be careful, the postkim are not so uh, lenient on that. They say shaving before davening is a questionable activity and should be taken care of at some other juncture. And if you feel like, well, that's the only chance I got, I got to shave before davening, speak to your rabbi about it because it's not 100% recommended. Smoking before davening, to those people who are a little stuck on their cigarettes or a lot stuck on their cigarettes and feel like until I have my morning cigarette I, I'm jittery and I won't even be able to concentrate on davening. Uh, don't ever get yourself into that mess but if you are in that mess that you're somewhat dependent on cigarettes and you can't get settled to daven unless you could have a smoke well so some rabbis are lenient about that but we don't condone smoking just want to say that. Um, what about a person wanting to take a trip before davening? The generally the rabbis are strict on that and say no, no trips before davening. And if you say, well, it's okay, the place I'm going to will have a minion and I'll get there for the minion. Still, making a trip before davening is not so kosher. There is the Orla Tzion who says, and this is Svardim would follow this psak. They say that any trip that's less than an hour and a half is fine before davening, but Ashkenazim can't necessarily rely on that, so you might still have to speak to your rabbi. Um, you know that general situation, and lots of men are stuck in this situation where they go, oh, I have a fantastic idea. Rush hour traffic is terrible, so I just leave early in the morning to, like, a, let's say, oh, I don't know, quarter to six in the morning. I get to the city where I work at a quarter to seven, and there's a minion there, and then I go to davening. So, Officially, you're not supposed to do trips before davening, but this is like a pressing need, and there is a Ramah that says for a pressing need, you can have a trip before davening, so this seems like a great idea. I do my commute before rush hour, arrive in the other city where I daven there, and then I go straight to work. Um, speak to your rabbi. Again, trips before davening are frowned upon, but this might be the type of situation where it'd be permissible, but don't rely on me. Speak to your rabbi about that situation. The Chai Adam also says for pressing needs, it would be considered okay to make an arrangement of traveling before davening, but he would suggest that you say the brachos first before you set out on that commute. Again, speak to your rabbi to you know, see how it should work for you. If a person wants to do an airport pickup before davening for his own parents, which is the very big mitzvah of respecting your parents, so they're arriving from Israel, let's say on a five o'clock arrival, you're going to pick them up, come back home and daven with them at a minion and everything. That seems like a lot of postkin would allow that kind of mitzvah before davening. Thanks for logging on. Uh, don't forget that Monday is the last day of Bahab, and we've explained to you what that is. Um, have a great day, and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.